Four awesome items for nerf hobbyists under $40 in under four minutes, episode two. Let's get to it. Quick note, these are not four reviews because four minutes is not enough time to do four reviews of four items. This is just a showcase of items that you may find useful. First up is most likely the most anticipated item on this list, and that is going to be the Aeon Pro that you can get for $25 from Walmart. And this is just a monster of a blaster for $25. With FPS readings at about 150 FPS with short darts, this is a super stock ready off the shelf blaster for under $30 that comes with a magazine adapted accepts their proprietary mags, katana mags, and talon mags out of the box. And with the Adventure Force Pro Darts, the groupings that I got with this blaster were way too good for a $25 blast you get from the shelves at Walmart. This may be the best buy of 2020, and the only real negative I have for it is this top priming grip can be mildly uncomfortable at times. Next up is a Rapid Strike flared Magwell from Grihas Gear. If you have a Rapid Strike, spend $10, buy one of these. It is something I would highly recommend for anyone that owns and uses a Rapid Strike. The reason I love this and have used this for as long as I have used Rapid Strikes is that it goes on the inside and replaces a piece inside the Rapid Strike, meaning there's no lips to get mag stuck on like you may encounter with external flared magwells. Yes, this does require to open up your blaster and replace a piece and put this inside of it, but it is well worth that short amount of time. I have had one of these for years. I've used it in my personal rapid strike. And from my experience, I much prefer this to not having one. Third up, we have a Kronos Speed Loader from Foam Technician. Now these run 10 to $11, depending on whether or not you want the five or six round variant. And these are just so much fun to use. If you're still using a Kronos or a Mercury, I just think these are a ton of fun and they're great to have just to easily be able to top off or reload your blaster on the fly without having to dig around in a bag, grab a handful of rounds and try to pop them in one by one. This is just flip open or if you've got a door delete mod even better, just plop it on there, close it down and you're reloaded, good to go, finish your prime and you're back in the game. These are just, they're fun, they're useful, and they have performed well for me when I've used them. Closing us out today, we have the Warp Saya from Voidstar Combat Sports. This is probably my new go-to competitive mag holder for matches. Uh, it takes the Blitz Saya kind of taco style mag holder that was done a while back and adds a little bit more to it with an additional lip inside the mag holder itself that latches in with your preferred mag type and gives it a little bit more security and stability when you're running around diving, sliding and all that to prevent mags from slipping out during intense use. Really like the idea. I've liked it in practice so far. Granted, due to COVID, have not been able to make it to a game, but in practice, these have been fantastic. And at $16 per, uh, this is something I am looking forward to getting more of. Also, they do have variants between Talon or Katana Mag. So whichever you're running, they have you covered. All right, I think we got it done in time. What was your favorite item from this episode and what should I talk about in the next episode? Leave a comment so I know down below and subscribe so you don't miss the next episode of Four Under 40. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.